Why do the gods cause so much trouble for mortals? Because that is their nature. But with all that power, you would think at least some of them would try to make life better for people. And yet, the gods continue to spread misery. <laughs> this is life, boy. Hmm. Well, at least we're doing some good. Right? Hmm. Maybe, maybe. We're trying. Alright, let's head back. We at least completed that. I just wanted to get at least one side quest done along the way. Obviously, post-game we can do as many as we see fit and as many as we'd like. I'm not opposed to doing a whole boatload of them if you'd like. Quite literally a boatload. Like, we'll take the boat and we'll fill it up with side quests and all the loot that we get. Um, but I really do want to see this Realm of Giants. I really want to do Fine Tier Secret Room. So, we can stay here. I kind of don't know how I feel about that Heavy Runic. It's much more of a crowd control than an individual attack. I kind of liked it being like a very specified attack, but... Um, alas... We'll rock it for another couple battles and just see if it's something we want to use or something that's terrible or what. I do hope I get another summon as well. I don't know if I've maxed out how many uh, summons there are, but that would be pretty cool. What's got you all bum fuzzled over there? Get going! I don't want to be bum fuzzled. So this guy is over yonder. Not Yondu, just yonder. And we do need to travel this way regardless, so it's, it makes sense. Yeah. Hook a big right turn, and then... The Disciple guy actually might be on this island, which already has like some really cool stuff for us to okay. open up. Obviously, the marriage to Odin didn't last, but how did Fran end up a hermit in the woods? Oh, that was a singular piece of cruelty, even for Odin. As if the marriage wasn't punishment enough. Freya was better to him than he deserved. She stuck it out through all manner of indignity, all in the name of maintaining peace and safety for her people. But Odin's madness, his tyranny, his corruption of her magics, it became more than she could stomach, and at long last she broke it off. Odin's wrath was fierce, and his curses upon her were more than she dared to fear. But her magic was so much stronger than his. After so much time together, he knew her vulnerabilities, and exploited them to craft curses she could never break. Oh, like not being able to leave Midgard. Worse still, he robbed her of her warrior spirit. Freya cannot fight, even to defend herself. No living thing may she harm by blade nor spell. In a world this belligerent, what choice does she have but isolation? Poor Freya. Hmm. I guess if I was her, I'd spit in your face too. Aye, lad. So would I. Nice little story time. I really love Atreus' outfit. I know it's not the biggest thing in the world, but it's pretty damn cool. So the Disciple of Thor is somewhere here, even though, I don't know, have we been here? We must have. Hey, right, what up? It does a lot of stun damage though, which is pretty nifty. So maybe it is pretty powerful. Um. Alright, where's the Thor Disciple Duder? He must be up even higher. Little bit of luck, little bit of timing. And we grab a 
Nah, it's just freaking solid steel. And a world serpent scale. I don't even might use those before, I don't even know. pop this now. Oh, I think I have to rise it up. So that those two are side by side and then somehow through here I'm going to... What am I going to do? Um... Nice! Double trouble chests in a bubble. Uh, okay. Nice runic attack. And we'll wheel this guy down. It wasn't a runic attack. It boosted runic attack is what I meant. This was just solid steel. Okay. This guy, what up? The statue stands no longer, spirit. And my bond to this realm is severed. And I am off to find the real god of thunder. He will know retribution. My deepest gratitude. And give me some. XP. Off he goes. Brave god. Want to look for Thor on his own. Yeah, right. Good he is a fool. <laughs> what did the spirit leave us? An offering to one of the gods. Can we use it? No. But perhaps the dwarves can. Yeah, I'm guessing they'll be able to use it for something, right? Really now? Yo, I didn't want to fight. I didn't want to fight. Chicken little. Are we for real? Yeah! Now that one I like. Now that one I'm a big fan of. Wow, that's vicious. Bye. I almost wish they were harder. Uh, Is that weird? I kind of feel you. I kind of feel you, kid. I kind of feel you. Now this bridge. Oh, doggy. Get me out of here. Hmm. I'm curious what this one does down here, so let's go just see this real quick. Must be some other chest. Oh yeah, there is down there. All right, we'll grab that last chest and we'll get on with it to Tears Secret Storeroom or Vault or whatever the key is hiding. Let's see. Well, I'm pretty sure I hit that. But okay, this one looks pretty legendary. It's the completion of this uh, this island. It's a nice heavy one. And inside is a rare axe combo. Successful axe kill grants a rage burst. Hmm. Oh, I, and pristine dust of the realm. Found only at Stone Falls. Powerful dust upgrade. Okay. Interessant. All right, let's get on with it. Again, we could peruse these islands probably for hours. There are a lot of them, and now that we have all of our abilities and we're team like looking red, which I like, um, 
you know, there's a lot to do, but we'll, uh, we'll probably post-game it. Um, I think Niflheim is still a place that we have never been, as far as I know. Why did you say Tear felt was responsible for what Odin did to the Giants? It was an incident shortly after the forging of Mjolnir, when Tear arranged a diplomatic meeting between Odin and the Giant King. This was when the Long War was young, and victory was still a thing dreamed of, and the Jotnar might have tipped the balance between Aesir and Vanir. Odin had persuaded Tyr that the hammer was merely a deterrent, a means to broker peace from a position of strength. Tyr was hopeful to convince all parties they would prosper best through peace. He knew the giants were deeply concerned about the hammer, a super weapon in hands they did not trust, but they trusted Tyr. Tyr always believed the best in people. And taking Odin at his word and his desire for peace, he brought the Raven King to Jotunheim. And we'll pick this up later. Uh, I hate cutting them off. It's just hard because the stories like are non-stop, which is cool. It keeps you interested and engaged when you're um, you know, just selling the seven seas, the nine seas, or whatever. Tears rune. This is it. Crank it. And open it. Ah! Very beautiful what hidden chamber. But what is this place? Your guess is as good as mine, little brother. <laughs> Whoa. The tree! We're underneath the realm travel room. But why is the floor on the ceiling? Huh. Those realm doors seem to mirror the ones above. Hello? Let me out of here. I see something up there. Up there. Tyr used the same magic to protect the Black Rune. The clue we seek may be inside. Huh. Right next to the Odinheim door. Interesting. But can we reach it? Not from here. Whoa! Oh! What's behind there? Weird. I don't know what's happening, but we're in like the upside down world. Hello? Whoa. Well, one inner sanctum within another. Huh. Those tapestries. Looks like more giant art. Whatever a tier did for them must have been big. This oh. tier dude is like king of the freaking castle. Time's a bajilly. Alright. Whoa. Who are they? Huh. Boy, this is the rune for Jotunheim. That's right. And look, we're on the other side of the door. The upside down door. What are you thinking? Stranger stand things. Back. Or okay. stand back. Okay. He's gonna Let's rotate move. the room? Oh my god. Seen to flip the whole room? Extraordinary. The whole room is built on some kind of axle. There's chains on both sides. Without those. <laughs> we can flip the temple. Oh my god. All right. Do you what now? <laughs> Alright. Uh oh, what? What? Uh -oh. what? Things are happening. Okay. I don't think they're attacking. Boy, boy. On the statues. I see them. It says void. Hmm. Ominous. Go on. Read. Before the first, after the last. Nothing between, no shadow cast. Oh. Are you quite sure flipping the temple is the only way to reach them, whatever it is? You said there would be a path. The temple can be flipped. Therefore, we flip the temple. The logic is unassailable. Ah, not 
sure what happens when we recklessly upend a room that's rooted <laughs> to eight other realms. I'm curious, of course, but it's a leap to imagine it gets us to Jotunheim. I don't mind a leap. Well, who knows? Perhaps you and Tyr are the same kind of mad. I hope it doesn't break travel with all the other realms, like it ruins the realm room. I don't think that would be a thing that they would do to us. I just I don't feel like that's a very nice nice Cory Barlog decision. So I'm gonna trust that it's gonna be all good. But I guess we'll see. Again Holy crap. With the death traps. 